Hello and welcome to another E4Clix project estimator training video. Today we're going to look at searching through your RS means guides. Specifically, we're going to cover how to use the index. Okay, so we're going to start off inside of an estimate on the line items tab. All right, so if you can't remember how to get here, please check out our other videos on how to get here. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're ready to s open up our favorite guide or whatever and then go to work. So to do that, we can right click. and We've set um, the 2016 BCCD as our default guide, so we can right click and use that top option there. And we can open up the guide. All right. Now, what we can notice right away is that there's, there are tens of thousands of line items or different records inside of this pricing guide, and, and there's more in other, or other pricing guides. So if you are amazing and have memorized every single line in the, in the guide, you can go ahead and just start typing. So you can go 09, 05, 05, 20, and you'd be in the selected demolition of flooring. However, if you're human, like I am, um, you may not have all those memorized, so you might need some search utilities. Okay, the first one we're going to look at here is the index. This one is probably the most intuitive. All right, this is going to be just like you would in a normal physical book. Flip it over to the back, open up, and go alphanumerically through the index to find the page number that you're looking for. Okay, so we're going to do something very similar here and then maybe geek it up a notch, all right? So how do you think we would open up a search utility in four clicks here? If you said right click, I'm so proud of you, right? So if we right click, we get our menu options here. We can see that search utilities here is a cascading one, meaning it's got more options below it, okay? So we're going to take a peek at some of these through here. The top one, probably the most intuitive, is the index, all right? So when we click on index here, this is, opens up the guide index window, okay? Uh, we're going to go through this window and do all that kind of stuff, but I want to show you a couple of different ways that we can actually open it up. Okay, so one is by right click, and I always want to show you that because if in doubt, right click. Okay, so I'm just hit escape to close that down. But there's a couple other ways as we've found that we can do stuff. If we like our toolbar icons up here, we can see these here. See this little looks like a piece of paper with an A and a B on it. If we hover over it, we get a little tool tip and that says index. If we click that, boom, that's going to open up our guide index for us. All right. Now, when we right clicked and went to search utilities, you may have noticed that there were some hotkeys over here on the right. Okay. What we can do here is instead of right clicking all the time, we can just use our keyboard. So let's come back here, put our focus back on these line items here. Okay. And if we hold down the control key, press the I key, and then release both of the buttons, the guide index will pop up. And that'll be a hot key that we can use to open up the index, I for index. All right. So let's start using it, shall we? One nice thing we've got here is that when we open it up, our focus is down here on the line items. And inherent, it, it, it kind of inherently, we want to go and click into the locate field to make this window work. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to see that we can just start typing. And if we type C, it's going to alphanumerically jump to the C's, then to the O's if we type an O, and then a V if we type to the V, and then we're going to see that we've come to Cove Bay Ceramic Tile. Okay. What this allowed us to do was just jump through alphabetically, just like we would in a physical book. Okay. Now, what if that's not the right thing? We want to look for something else. How do we clear out that locate field without grabbing our mouse? Well, if we use the backspace key, that will erase one letter at a time. Okay. If we move through our list, okay, I'm going to use the up and down arrow keys. If we move through our list, it will clear out the locate field entirely and let us go from scratch. So if we wanted to go D-U-M-P-S, there's dumpster. Up or down arrow key, and we could jump over to concrete. Okay, So there's a quick way to use that, and it allows us to just start typing without having to grab our mouse and click into the locate field. Okay, If you're like me, you're going to click in the locate field at some point. All right. What happens if you do that? Now, if we type C-O-V-B-A-S for Cove Base, okay, 
what's going to happen is nothing until we leave this field. All right. When we leave the locate field, then it will, the window will update. The best way to do this is by using the tab key on the keyboard. So over on the left-hand side of your keyboard, you'll see the tab key. When we press tab, boom, it'll jump over and then we'll be to Cove Bay Ceramic Tile again. Okay, how do we clear that locate field again? Upper down arrow key, exactly. So is it wrong to click in the locate field? Not at all, but it gives us a little bit more speed if we just go ahead and use the auto entry function, okay? Now, that's going to take us alphabetically through the list. What if we wanted to filter through the list? Do we see the query field right below locate here? So the query field, this one we do have to click into, but now what if we do, I don't know, C-O-V-B-A-S? What this is going to do is it is going to allow us to filter through our list and look for multiple partial words. So this is very powerful. So when we press the tab key again here, that's going to remove all of the entries that don't have both COV and BAS somewhere in the description there, okay? So what we can do here is look through our list then and see which ones we'd like. Instead of looking at a page number, what we do here is we actually show you the line item number and then the description of the line item that it's pointing to. So if we look at this one, we can see where it's pointing to, this one, and this one. So it gives us a little idea of what division we're in, some of the more, more of the details that wouldn't show up in an index description, but would show up in the description of the line item. Okay? Hopefully that's kind of making sense. So now we want to jump there, right? So we're going to do that just like we would select anything else in this program. If we were going to go to ceramic tile base, cove base, we could double click on this, we could hit the enter key on the keyboard, and I know this is going to shock you, but we can right click on it and go down to go to line item. Okay? Either one of those options is going to take us from the index and open the book up right to this line item, whatever was selected. Okay? Now, the cool thing is, as you can kind of see this, hey, there's a little, we call the these search utilities sticky windows. So that window is going to stay with us. So we can go back over here and click on it and go, oh, no, I really wanted this one. So we can double click on it and we can jump over here. All right? Now, the other thing we can do is sometimes this will get hidden if we have lower resolution or if it's behind the window or something. Also, what we can do is open up our index again with any of the ways that we saw and we'd be right back to the guide index and we could um, go to work from there. Okay? So... Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. That's basically the index, maybe the most intuitive way to search through the book. Let me show you one quick thing before I go. Remember I hinted that this index is, uh, we're going to be geek it up a little bit. We're going to allow this to be your index as well. So right next to the index toolbar icon is an add line item to index button. So if you have a hard time finding it, it an item, you can click this button and describe it however you would like to and that would add it to your index for you. So that's just a little bit of freebie there for you. All right, so there's the index. Hope you enjoy that. Hey, we've got some other training videos specifically looking at search utilities, so go check those out as well as all of the other ones. All right, so we just thank you so much. You have a fantastic, fantastic day.